Welcome back to the Bronco Nation, your place for all things Bronco. Today, we're talking about the GOAT modes on this two-door Badlands Bronco. Now the GOAT modes are super cool on these Broncos. And if you wonder what GOAT means, it means go over any type of terrain. And the cool thing is GOAT actually harkens back to when the Bronco was first being produced in 1965. The, the kind of secret code name that they used for the production was the GOAT. So it's cool that they've incorporated that into the production of today. When you get in your Bronco and you start it up, you can switch between different GOAT modes on this dial next to the shifter. You can also use the dial to manually select the different four-wheel drive options by pushing the different buttons. And the button in the middle controls trail control and one pedal drive if equipped. Trail control lets you focus on steering during low speed and off-road use by controlling your vehicle's acceleration and braking to maintain the speed that you set. Trail one pedal drive allows you to accelerate and brake using only the accelerator pedal. Now, different GOAT modes are available based on the Bronco series. The GOAT modes that we're gonna cover in this video are for the Badlands Bronco. The default mode for your Bronco is going to be the normal mode. Now the default in normal mode is too high, but all of the four wheel drive modes are selectable. The next mode is eco mode, and this is the most fuel efficient mode. The default is two wheel drive high and none of the four wheel drive options are selectable. Next is the slippery mode. So this is just for less than ideal conditions like snow or ice. This mode lowers throttle response and optimizes shifting for slippery surfaces. Because this is the Badlands Bronco, four-wheel drive auto is the default mode and all the other four-wheel drive modes are selectable. The big thing to note on this one is the stabilizer bar disconnect is not available in slippery mode. The next mode is mud and ruts. This is obviously for off-road driving. 4 high is the default four-wheel drive mode. In this mode, the rear electronic locking differential is engaged and under 25 miles an hour, you have the option to lock the front differential. Also in this mode, the stabilizer disconnect is available. The next mode is sand. This is for off-road driving on any like soft, dry sand or even in deep snow. In this mode, four high is the default four wheel drive mode. And in this mode, the rear electronic locking differential is engaged and the front electronic locking differential is available when you're driving under 25 miles an hour. Also, the stabilizer bar disconnect is available. And one of the cool things about the sand mode is if your vehicle has it, the front camera will switch on if you're driving under 15 miles an hour. And then there's Baja mode. Now this is awesome for high speed off-road driving. Baja mode optimizes the throttle control for better response and torque delivery. Four wheel drive high is the default four wheel drive mode. Now let me stop you guys right here. I know a lot of you, when you get your Bronco, you're gonna be like, Baja baby. I'm, I'm gonna switch this thing into Baja and I'm just gonna blaze down the freeway. Don't do that. The Baja mode, if you do that, there's a chance that you're gonna bind up your differential. There's a chance, you, you never really wanna drive, you know, four low, four high on the freeway or just on pavement because really when you're in those modes, your wheels need to spin at different speeds around corners and stuff like that. That's why there are all these different modes so you don't mess anything up. So before you go blazing in Baja mode, make sure you're on sand or something where the dirt, the, the ground is still loose underneath you. Now I will say, Ford has designed four-wheel drive auto for more traction on pavement, so you're not limited to only two-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive auto is available in all models and comes standard in the Sasquatch package. And the last one is the rock crawling mode. Obviously, this is the best option if you're going rock crawling. 
In the rock crawling mode, the Bronco optimizes transmission and throttle response. Four wheel drive low is the only four wheel drive mode selectable in rock crawling. The system prompts you to put your Bronco in neutral so it can switch into four low. The front locking differential is available under 25 miles an hour and the rear electronic locking differential is engaged at any speed. Also, the stabilizer bar disconnects when you enter into rock crawl mode. Now again, when you're in rock crawling mode, you wanna to try to avoid driving on the pavement, especially going fast on pavement, so you don't bind up your differential. Now those are all the modes and it's pretty amazing. It's cool how Ford has thought through these different things and made it easy to switch. But then also given you the controls that you can turn things on and off, even just in the normal mode. So while you're driving, you can just switch and, uh, and, and lock a differential or go into four wheel drive or whatever you wanna do. The hero switches on top of the dash go along with the goat modes. The first hero switch is the sway bar disconnect. When on, the sway bar is disconnected and you have more range of motion off-roading. The next one is the front electronic locking differential. This locks the front differential for improved traction. The next one is the rear electronic locking differential. Then you have trail turn assist and this will help you take sharper corners off-road. And the next one is traction control off. And you can see that it's off when the light is illuminated in the instrument cluster. And the final one is your hazards. So those are all the different GOAT modes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on how you can get the most out of your Bronco.